So I'm going to do a quick comparison of resin bolt installation with jumbos. This first method here uses a plastic tube and it's a two piece resin that's tied together fast on the front, slow on the back and you pre-drill your holes and you push the resin into the hole. It has a plastic birdie on the end so it'll it'll hold itself in the hole and typically we'll drill a ring or two off all at once and install the resin just because it's so time consuming to change over your tooling push the resin push the rebar I know I'm sure some engineers would expect that's how it's done but it's not how it's going to get done this is a very low commitment way to get some resin bolts installed you don't have to buy or install anything on your machine you just buy the tubes put the resin in and push your bolts I don't really like this method as much because if you have fractured holes, you can only put two resin in. So if there's voids, you you run the risk of uh, not having enough resin in. Uh, the tubes are very fragile, so you have to be very precise on your hole placement. And they can easily get damaged. Sometimes the birdies can fall off in the hole and then your resin tube won't go in it'll fall back out of the hole like you'll see here in a second uh, see so we push it up and then the tube comes back down you push it up again and it won't stay in sometimes you get lucky you can blow it in with with air and water and it'll stay in there but most of the time you just have to install a new resin so once all the resin is installed we can take the plastic tube off the install boom and start pushing rebar and a lot of the times because you, there's not as much resin as an injected method uh, they take a long time to set up so typically what we'll do is push all of the rebar and you can see the ones ready to fall out we'll hold the rebar in until it's it sets up long enough where it holds the bolt from falling out and then we'll come back and we'll tighten all the rebar afterwards this method is a little bit more time consuming but it is low commitment so if you don't have a lot of rebar to install that'd be a way to go so the second method here is uh, trajectiflex by Wilco and it's uh, pretty similar to a roll bolters injection system there's a spring and a metal tube installed on the end of the boom and then the tube goes back to beside the cab where your offsider will load the resin as you're installing the bolts this is a little bit more commitment but uh, it's very efficient. You see the tube just goes up into the hole. I'll typically drill right to left and I'm always a couple of holes ahead of my rebar installation. So I'll drill my hole, inject my resin, and then my install boom follows behind me, just pushing and mixing bolts. And with the drill boom always being able to move and install resin, I can wait for my resin to set up and I just push as I go so this method is extremely fast it puts the roll bolters gives them a run for their money with always having the one drill boom ahead and being able to inject resin you're always able to get farther and farther ahead if I have a really large heading like a truck loadout or something I'll be five or six holes ahead and I'm just constantly pushing rebar it with the injection you can put more resin in so if you have fractured holes voids you can continuously install resin and, and make sure you fill all those voids and it does a very good job at having secure bolts there we go that was 10 bolts in the time that the other style put in five